Hello truth seekers and welcome back to the debrief where we reveal the shocking unreality of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Hello viewers, welcome back on our site. As always, we have a fresh batch of royal tidbits to unleash this Tuesday morning and man do I have thoughts today. With that said, let's get the tea on our favorite royal fish out of water. Here come the Duke and Duchess of Desperation, Markle. Drone Nation here for your sentiment I am now aware, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend, do we not already have enough blog posts about this couples? Apparently not, as they keep giving us more stuff to read. But first, before we dive into the turbulent truths, make sure you have that subscribe button and notifications turned on. Don't miss the exciting content we have prepared for you. Now, here's the scoop. Here it is the old harsh reality of Hollywood finally hitting our dynamic duo. So long overdue so allow me to tell you let's backtrack a bit. Harry and Meghan or when royalty said goodbye went to California for good? They were going to get a warm welcome, right? They saw the red carpets, the A-listers hanging off their arms and legendary Hollywood execs calling with opportunities. Reality check, if you are not currently relevant in Hollywood, then your days of being the hot property will rapidly disintegrate. To paraphrase, the hourglass of the fame that we lavish on Harry and Meghan is running out more quickly than you can say, God save the king. This is the point Karen, I mean, our dear Sussexes are missing, Hollywood only responds to what's hot. Now, they are about as hot, as the typical British summer, which this writer will have you know is colder than a penguin's native environment. Let's analyze, shall we? What defines Harry and Meghan is what makes them unique in the looking for money stakes. Harry is renowned because of the blood that runs in him. Meghan, meanwhile, was on basic cable and attracted more couch potatoes. They aren't exactly setting the world on fire, though. Harry and Meghan were convinced their royal connections plus a sob story would ensure they remain Hollywood royalty forevermore. But top Hollywood talent, their traditional bedfellows in the entertainment community, have pulled no punches is disassociating themselves from Epstein. Even candle aficionado, Gwyneth Paltrow is kicking dirt on the couple from 15 feet away. If even Goop won't take you on, that's a bad sign. Taking to Instagram recently, Gwyneth made a small but telling gesture that indicates the balance of power among stars is starting shift. Also, the only person Harry was on good terms with is David Beckham that switched sides and stood firmly in royal family's camp hence it has made Meghan isolated as well. Fitting for the newly sat at the loser's table in high school couple. But honestly, the galling thing here is Harry and Meghan not realizing how important it is to have a unique selling point in Hollywood. Most disgruntled ex-royals need not apply they now might as well be competing on the cutthroat kitchen stage, among countless other in their frantic quest to win a second or third celebrity title. As you know, celeb world is a fickle place and your new project or scandal beats relevance. Except that they have whined, blamed everyone else and played the victim far too often, tactics which most people are weary of by now. Hollywood could really care less about the fact that millions of men suffer on a day-to-day -day basis, well, unless it is going to be made into some movie. The Harry and Meghan story sounded too familiar for comfort. We take a tour of their Hollywood tie-ins. Royal expert Hilary Fordwich was right in calling them fake friends. This is just how relationships in Tinseltown go down. It is all about mutual benefits and relevancy. They are fading Harry and Meghan fast becoming irrelevant people, both in the real world and my circle of friends tend to relate more to the disenfranchised sibling behind Prince William than Hollywood material for wide release. They apparently forgot the key lesson about making fans look forward, to consume more. The manner they did this in was not pretty, instead flooding the market with their great British life of tears and fears as recliner cop with ladrathome tail. In Hollywood, loyalty is as ethereal as any fleeting face lift. Their friendships running for the high country as quick as a bunch of rats deserting a doomed ship. Much like it does in Tinseltown, and your value is predicated on what you can do for someone else's career, 
and right now having anything to do with the Duke and Duchess isn't looking too hot, sorta of similar thing as being attached to those failed festival people. The salient fact is that Harry and Meghan tried to have it both ways. They wanted to lose all responsibilities of the king but not any rights. Combated for regal treatment, sans performing royal duties. Now here is the reality check. In the real world, choices are not a buffet, you cannot pick just be appealing parts of your job. You can't go to red carpets and flake on the paperwork. But now that has blown up in their faces, and they are dealing with the consequences of trying to have it both ways when it comes to being royal. All of a sudden they are starting to come face to face with just how minor they, in fact, truly when devoids their state titles. They are just ordinary persons, without the grandeur of royalty. Ordinary is not an option in Hollywood. So bitter was their irony, to get away in the UK just, let them fled from the press. But they have since put themselves in the limelight. Their seclusion seems ironic, as they make no attempt to avoid the limelight, with Netflix features and Oprah interviews at stake up against tell-all books. If this is their idea of privacy, you shudder to imagine what their definition of publicity may be. But for a while, the mystery remained. The royal family was like a live-action soap opera, the backstage drama eventually distracting virtually all audiences. One way this plays out in Lovecraft Country is how the show's plot has gotten pushed to some unsettling directions, but with any series there comes a time when interest starts fading if left standing still. I get the sense that Megan's story is like a record on repeat, an endless scroll of emotional text messages you sent to a friend when your heart was broken. At first you can relate to it but soon realizing its limitations, one starts getting rather restless and desires some kind of momentum as it stagnates. So now Hollywood checks the time, well aware that Harry and Meghan have stretched out their stay. The novelty has worn off, the shake long since thinned and in an industry of constant change they are quickly becoming yesterday's news. This is the real tragedy of it all. They have disbanded, deserted, disowned, for an ephemeral moment of Hollywood limelight. The ugly reality of Hollywood that they are learning, your value is nothing but a quick deal. Today, their old narrative is boring and something I've heard too many times. They're like some non-hit wonder band holding on to the glory days, not realizing that they need a remaking. Hollywood stagnation equals death in the midst of this chaos, however, one group that deserve a thought well are their children. whose life have come to stand still and grow up in such an eerie zone. These people are not quite royal, they're kind of celebs but their parents can't hack it so live with the non-royal side of their family. Harry and Meghan look to have got themselves in a corner, all for the sake of holding on to their pathetic pair of twos, trying to play Trump on the monarchy. While their goal was to redefine celebrity, it doesn't take long for them to realize that in Hollywood, Howes always wins. Well, what do these non-trad royal family members have in store next? They may, if they are wise, and that is a very big if, understand where their true value has been all these years, in proximity to royalty. It is possible they will have to take it on the chin, make amends, and shore up whatever royal dignity remains. Yet, being Harry and Meghan, they could decide to redouble their efforts in order to shine the blame on someone else for losing any of that star power. Perhaps the race card, perhaps media bias or any number of other excuses to justify their behavior. That is taken care of by them, but they have no one to blame there. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wanted out of the royal family, they got it. Like the old adage, be careful of what you wish for. Harry and Meghan, wake up and smell the coffee. You are not on your home ground anymore, Hollywood plays by rules of its own. Your importance in Tinseltown is based solely on what you have done lately, not your royal titles or family feuds. You do not earn respect complaining about how hard your privileged life is. If you want to be, do things as if. Your only notoriety is day-old fish and chips, there are so many more causes your platform could be used for besides just whinging. Just a reminder to the viewers, fame is temporary. A star today can be a flop tomorrow.
Be careful who you stand with as that loyalty is Hollywood wishy-washiness at its finest.